Hello everyone, Johnny Hurricane here from GamersHeroes.com and today we're just asking why, I gotta look up the name, X Defiant from Ubisoft. Why, why, why does this thing exist? Let's go. All right, so X Defiant was announced. Oh, by the way, the boat might rock a little, so if you get seasick, you know, just look away for a while. There's a lot of waves going on. Anyways, X Defiant. Again, I keep looking at the name because I can't believe that's what it's actually called. Battle Cat was its code name. Battle Cat's a better name, which surprises me. Um, if you see me doing this, I'm basically just shielding the, shielding the mic. But yes, so X Defiant, what's going on? Okay, we've got a couple of different things going on at Ubisoft currently. First off, they are committing to free to play. Um, and this is a pretty cheap investment to get into the free-to-play market. It doesn't... It sucks because it's got the Tom Clancy moniker on it, which means, it, you know, they, they further dilute uh, Tom Clancy. But yeah, this is, uh, this is a rel relatively cheap investment, as I said. Um, it's, it's, it's a lot of reused assets, just different colors, and then sort of like Division in the first person. I'm not saying it's exactly like the Division, because if you look at the recoil on the guns, there's pretty much none, which is already a red flag. They gotta adjust that. The dude sniping, is. there's like no recall on the sniper, so what, what, just gonna sn It's almost like they don't know PVP games when it comes to shooters, except for, uh, well, Rainbow Six. But anyways, a commitment to free to play. This was relatively cheap, and of course we had the pandemic, so it was easy to get done. That was one of the big reasons, I say easy, you know, developing a game is not, easy but as far as doing it from home reusing all these assets was uh you know relatively easy by comparison uh b since it is just an asset jumble again cheap to pay and you do get experience for doing these things so you know, there, there's value in it the value is not going to come from people playing it though this game is pretty much already dead on arrival which isn't a good look you also have to look back onto hyperscape which it had a little bit more hype than this, but also died very, very quickly. I get that one at least, right? Because everyone's doing a battle royale, you might as well try it. This, I don't know what place this has in the market. That's the big problem. Um, there's too many free-to-play shooters that are really good, and this does nothing to really stand out. So, it's it's hard to say, it, well, the reason's money, right? Because it's not. They're not, <laughs> they're probably losing money on this. You gotta think the budget wasn't too high to... Uh, make the game, but they're going to market it. They're going to pay streamers to play it because no one's going to want to play it. And of course, eh, there's going to be microtransactions, right? That's how they plan to make their money. It's just, again, I don't really see enough players actually getting invested enough to spend money unless you bring in certain Ubisoft characters like, you know, Sam Fisher from, or Tom Clancy characters, I should say. But Sam Fisher, I wonder if you even know who Sam Fisher is. He's the Splinter Cell guy. That's the only, if I think about any other games that are Tom Clancy, I really don't have any others. So that's pretty much the big one there. Ubisoft's been on kind of a downward spiral for the last couple of years. They've had a lot of problems interior with um, sexual harassment allegations and just straight up facts. Um, and of course you got other games, right? Hyperscape, like I said, not that great. Tom Clancy's Elite Squad. This one's an interesting one. Free to play mobile game that launched last year. Uh, hasn't even been out a year and it's already closed. That's the, uh, you might, if you're like, I know that game, but I didn't play it. It's because they used the, uh, from what I recall, they used the Black Lives Matter fist on the terrorist's flag. Talk about tone deaf, right? Come on now. Amateur hour over there. Um, but when you look at the other Tom Clancy, I know it's not, it is Tom Clancy, but Ghost Recon, right? Same thing. Um, Ghost Recon Wildlands, pretty good. Ghost Recon Breakpoint, an absolute dumpster fire. Watch Dogs Legion, you know, had some hiccups, had some crashes, but still definitely didn't sell the expectations. They, they're they having trouble over at Ubisoft, and the problem is they have too many things going on, right? Too many projects, and so what we're gonna do here, because I didn't, I didn't really know how to make this video that long without repeating the same exact thing over and over about how it's an asset flip, um, we're gonna trim the fat for Ubisoft. And basically, you're gonna get a picture of a pig if it's fat, and we're just gonna cut it, or a picture of bacon, because you know you wanna eat bacon, and that's when you keep it. All right, and just, just to give two examples really quick. Assassin's Creed, right? That's bacon, that's money. You're gonna keep Assassin's Creed going. It's their most successful franchise. By a mile, you keep that going. Watch Dogs. It's had three tries. At this point, cut it. Um, Watch Dogs 1, really burned a lot of people is the best way to describe it. It sold well, that's why they keep kind of chasing this dragon, but Watch Dogs 2 did not sell well. Watch Dogs Legion's even worse. Hey, it was a fun idea, but it's just time to put it on the backboard and get the team working on something else. All right, Division. 
Division, I believe, is actually going the right direction. They're doing a free-to-play update, which is, uh, they haven't announced it officially, but it's been rumored forever, so yes, you know it's coming. I think it's called Heartland or something like that. That is exactly what I would do with the Division currently. I think there's still a lot of, a lot of room in the market for, especially the Division, as it does have a, a name attached to it, right? People know the Division. I think a free-to-play Division is very smart. So yes, that's exactly what I would do in this situation. Uh, Immortals. I don't really know how well Immortals sold, but I mean, you got the world at this point, you got the art, you got everything. Give it another shot. I don't think it's good. I don't think it's that big of a deal. So, you know, that's bacon. Uh, Beyond Good and Evil. No, nah, no, nope. bye bye. Snip, snip, snip. Goodbye. Beyond Good and Evil 2. That's like a, a throwback to the fans, I guess. I don't know. I don't know what the plan is with this game. I don't know where this game is. This game is vaporware as far as I'm concerned. Just drop it, forget it. Don't even bring it back up again. Put it in the closet, lock the closet up, bury it. There we go. Uh, the crew, also, um, cut it. It's time. Ubisoft's driving is not good. I, I don't know what's going on. They really do need to get, like, they should have been bidding for the Codemasters team because their driving is abysmal. It's like, it's like if you were a bowling ball on, like if my lake was frozen and you were a bowling ball and you had butter slathered all over the bowling ball, like that's that's basically driving in Ubisoft games. Cut the crew, it's over, just stop. Uh, just Dance. I have to believe that this game makes money, I have no idea, but uh, if it's making money, we're keeping it, so baking it, sure, why not? I don't care, personally, but if it's making money, you gotta keep it. Riders Republic, this is kind of in the same vein as, um, steep right these kind of extreme sports games that are uh, that they keep trying to force down our throats but nobody's playing for a reason they're just not that good if you're going to focus on a sport focus on a sport stop trying to give us wind gliding and biking and all this stuff again we already talked about how bad their driving is focus on one thing so that one's cut for sure that said trials i would keep trials that's, that's a bacon that's a fan thing i don't think it costs much money to make i don't think it brings in much money either but fans love it so again just toss them a bone you're not losing money on this thing maybe you're losing a little bit but who cares um for honor this is one that i just i had to look up because i wasn't sure i thought this was free to play it's not that is what i would do with for honor at this point is make it free to play i don't think you're bringing in a lot of new players at this point i just even with a 20 dollars price point the only way i'm going back to for honor is if it's free and there are new free players coming in because the guys that are playing for honor right now are pros if it's not going free i don't see a for honor too but uh like i said transition to free to play that's a bacon uh rainbow six that's bacon. That's bacon all day. It actually might have started when Rainbow Six Siege came out. It might have started as trimming the fat, but now it is absolutely bacon. Don't know what the hell's going on with quarantine or uh, was it Parasite now? I don't remember what's called. You know what I'm talking about? The zombie defense one or the zombie one. It got delayed again. I don't know. I don't know how. <laughs> this worries me, quite frankly. But still, bacon. We'll see what happens. Far Cry, easy bacon. That's like their number two franchise, easily. Yeah, bacon, bacon all day. Prince of Persia. They have this cut, they brought it back, cut it again. We're done with it. That, that remake, remaster, whatever the F you want to call it. That thing looks atrocious. Don't even bother. Um, Skull and Bones? Skull and Bones? Vaporware. This thing's been in development for like eight years and we have no idea what it is. If you can't get this thing together by now, it's not going to come together. It's too much money. The team spent too much time on it. Cut it. It's over. No one cares that much. Just drop it. It was a cool concept. Now, we have Sea of Thieves, straight up. It's over. The Nintendo, um, co you know, uh, Mario and Rabbids and Starlink, you know, the, the compilation, the, uh, that's not the word, the compilation, the, the cooperation, I guess, the cooperation between Nintendo and Ubisoft, you, you wanna keep doing that. Having a game on a Nintendo platform with Nintendo characters, that's bacon all day. You keep doing that. X Defiant. Don't even bother. You showed it, you messed up, you know what? Just go sit in your hole, drink your booze for a couple of weeks, come back out, forget we ever mentioned it. That's what we're gonna do with X Defiant. Um, yeah, so there you go, we cut, what do we cut? Watch Dogs cut, that's good. Yeah, Beyond Good and Evil, don't even know I was working on that. Cut it, Crew cut it, Riders of Public cut it, Prince of Persia cut it, X Defiant cut it, look at that. You just freed up so much personnel to make sure that your damn games that are actually gonna sell come out working. So, that's what I think, that's the, uh, I like that. We'll, we'll, maybe we'll do that more often. Uh, trim the fat, as we will call it. But anyways, X Defiant. You know what X Defiant reminds me of? Um, 
back when I was a younger younger lad, like uh, 12 or something like that, you know, like 20 years ago, um, we used to have this arena that they, they did a whole bunch of stuff, like the circus would go there and things like that. But every so often you'd get a monster truck rally, and that's what it reminds me of. This Sunday, X Defiant rolls out, and then it shows like the neon green monster truck like rolling over a bunch of damaged cars, and it's got X Defiant on the side. You know, it's like that. So maybe if it was the 90s, you could, you'd be successful with this. But as it stands right now, X Defiant, just get rid of it. It's, nobody wants to play it. Nobody. Yep. And if they do, they're lying to themselves straight up. So stop lying to yourselves. You don't want to play X Defiant. Ubisoft, stop lying to yourselves. This game's not going to be good. And that's going to do it for me. If you liked what you saw, got what you needed. Like, comment, subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Later, Gators.